thanks, but no thanks. <coughs> so, uh, it's Roland from East, East Mar Mar Marsh Acres. Let's try that one again, East Marsh Acres. And uh, we're out here doing some planting. So we're going to be putting some asparagus, uh, interspersed or interplanted, whatever terminology you want, with strawberries. And we've got a bunch of strawberry plants That's and we've got corms from the uh, asparagus as well. So the asparagus is a long-term prospect. Um, we will not be eating substantively from asparagus for three years. Uh, it'll be in the third year when we actually get a bit of a, uh, a crop. But uh, it, it's a long-term thing. The strawberries uh, should come along that much uh, easier and we may end up with a, an occasional strawberry this year. Uh, these are the everbearing uh, variety. No, they're not everbearing. No? Oh, okay. These they're are the June, the July. One June, <clears throat> one July. And anyway, so they're the June, July varieties. Uh, so we won't be getting anything much this year. Um, it'll be next year that they start uh, uh, bearing and maybe the year after that as well. Um, so just to show you a little bit of what Trisha did this afternoon, the, uh, the run for the chickens is working out just fine. They are uh, going to town. Uh, you can see that they've dug spaces in the ground uh, all the way around. In fact, that's the first thing that they did. They seem to go around the fence. Uh, I don't know, testing for integrity or something. Uh, Trisha also put a bit of um, sun cover over top of the door itself. How that's going to work, I don't know, but we'll have to see. And I guess we can just pull it off because it's got uh, elastic bands around the edges. I don't know if you can see them around the poles there. Um, so when the chickens go to bed, we just pull the tarp back over top of the roof and uh, it will add to the to the integrity of the roof I guess more so than anything else um, but uh, they're still happy at least they're not complaining at least I haven't heard any complaints directly to me right ladies you're not complaining, right? You're happy? So, watching chickens is, is a great pastime. Um, they have their own sets of behaviors. And uh, it's interesting watching what they're up to. So, for the most part, what they're doing here is uh, cleaning off fresh dirt so that they can see if there are any insects and or worms. They love to grab worms, big juicy worms. I'm sure that they like the little ones as well. Anyways, let's go back to the uh, asparagus and strawberries. So here are the asparagus corms. I don't know if you can see the spiders. Seem to be spiders on the ground. More like octopi. Are there eight though? There's five in each package, so just ten. Yeah, no, eight roots. Oh, no, more. And the last one? Two more. Two more? No, two more. So you can still see that there are roots left over from the cabbage that we had in this row last year. Kale. Kale, right. 
Well, here anyways. Hill is related. As somebody we know okay. would call them Braxias? Brachias? Or Braxis? No. no. Brachias. No. Something like that. Yeah. Now we'll cover if we don't feel that there's enough we'll grab some of the new stuff, put it over top. Okay, so here is a completed half row almost of asparagus and then you can see the strawberry plants peeking their heads up above and we're going to do the same over there where you'll see Patricia and uh, Rachel so I'll go over there and show you that as well uh, we gave the chickens some some uh, weeds and they tend to go for the newest stuff that's thrown over the fence in this particular case they seem to really enjoy a thistle so I gotta keep that in mind because we've got lots of thistles and they can have them all as far as I'm concerned this one wasn't so bad that it goes through your gloves but some of the other ones are and some of these plants that you see so the, the shrub brushes that are growing up above the level of the grass they have some nice big thorns on them as well I have to figure out exactly what they are. Anyways, let's go over to the other area and see what uh, the ladies are up to. It's getting a little darker, so hopefully you can see what we're up to. So Rachel's filling in the soil over top of the asparagus corms. Why are they called corms? Because they're not roots and they're not tubers. They're the tops of underground stems. Some of the blueberries are starting to leaf. There's one there. Don't know if you can see it. Teeny tiny. And the one in front of the, the soil is leafing. And that one there. <coughs> the strawberry plant that we had last year is doing well. So I don't know if this is going to be too dark, but Rachel and Trisha are planting the strawberry plants, getting the roots underneath the ground. There's two more here, Trish. You did them. Yeah, I laid them out. That's what I was doing. Okay, another planting expedition completed. <clears throat> no, apparently in their second year they get shorter. Huh. That's why tulip farmers pull the whole bulb out. But they should, they should actually um, multiply. Oh, okay. 
Only one pure red one. <coughs> mhm. Mm and two purple ones. Well, wow, there's a red one there too, Rach. It's more like kind of like orangey red. Why do you have to lay there, dog? Okay, I think that's it for today. Uh, it's getting too dark anyway, so uh, I think we'll wrap it up here and talk to you again soon.